we are at the Trap Dyke. Last time I was here was the summer of 2018. And uh, as you can probably tell, it is the winter of 2020. I'm here today with my buddy Jonathan here from New York City. Many of you know the Trap Dyke notoriously for people climbing it in the summertime, but it's also an incredible climbing route in the winter. We're gonna be uh, going up majority of the time without ropes. Uh, about WI2 is the technical grade of this climb. The elevation gain goes up to about 1800 feet right after the slide. From later reports, I have heard that the slide might not necessarily have a good base of ice. It might be too thin, so we'll address it when we, when we get there. But welcome guys to episode number eight of the Winter 46 single season YouTube series. Today is Mount Colden via the Trap Dyke. And the first time I did Mount Colden was via the Trap Dyke, and so that's why I wanted to go up it here in the winter. Today, for those of you that do know, ice climbing gear and stuff like that, I'm gonna be using the Kassen Blade Runners and the Kassen All Mountain Ice Tools. And um, I'll show you here in a second what Jonathan's using, but we're just here at the base now, and uh, we skied in through um, up through Marcy Dam and up here to Avalanche Lake. I just want to take this quick second to thank High Peak Cyclery and Wyatt's Tex-Mex for sponsoring this journey. Two incredible businesses in Lake Placid. I also work at High Peak Cyclery and they've uh, sponsored a lot of this gear that I'm going to be using. Come and visit me, say hi, I work there, as well as Wyatt's Tex-Mex. I don't work there, but man, that is a place you should visit. Try out their food, it's pretty incredible. Here's Jonathan, Jonathan say hi. Hey, what's going on guys? Yo, you pretty psyched? Dude, I'm stoked, let's get it. He's using uh, La Sportiva G5 boots and Cyborg Black Diamond crampons as well. Dude, what are your ice tools? I don't even know what you're... Oh, you're right, they're Nomix. Yeah, he's, he's using some Nomix. And uh, the time right is right around uh, 1.15. The goal is to be up at the summit by sunset. I'm also gonna get some GoPro footage for you guys. That's gonna be pretty fun. Man, I guess it's really just time to get going. So without further ado, Enjoy the winter trap dike. These snow sections right here, these are probably the most successful. So as we approach the slide, this right here looks like our best window. We're approaching 4,000 feet now. Trees are starting to become frosted. Oh, this is so, this is exciting.
there. We are oh so close. It is at the steepest part now. Summit's just right there. And uh, we had to traverse over so we could get up here. You see Whiteface off there in the distance. Cascade and Porter. And Lake Placid. That section was. That was that was my crux of the day. We're at the final push right here. That's the exit right here. This is the top, boys. We're there. Uh, but we're not at the top, so we're at the top. But we're essentially at the top. Here we are. Did it. And there she is. Okay. Mount Colden, single winter season 46, high peak number 17, via the trap dike. At the balancing rock, and there's the sunset. All right, John, give me your overall, your like full thoughts on that guy. It was an awesome climb, super fun. Uh, where is Harry? He's also pretty fat, but uh, where uh, it's powdery, we could uh, move pretty fast though. Yeah, a super fun day. We're gonna stay here and wait for the sunset. Wait till it kind of goes down and see a nice orange lining out there in the horizon. So we'll see what happens when it reaches that. Getting some nice light off into the horizon. We've been up here for about 15 minutes now. Oh yeah, look at that sunset. Woo! Woohoo! Oh my word. That is amazing. This is why I climb. This is what connects me to these mountains. What drives me to photograph. That little silver lining in the sky. All right, we are just packing up. Look at my gloves. They are, they are frozen. All right, the sun is definitely well past set. Uh, we just spent a lot of time trying to get our packs organized and we are ready to send it back down, you can see the lights of Lake Placid in the distance. Oh yeah. It's gonna be pretty quick descent to Lake Arnold. Probably a good 45 minutes to get off this mountain. And then another two hours back to the car from there. On the summit of Little Colden, you see the summit of Colden right there. Okay, we're kind of freaking out because we got down in like 20 minutes from the summit. That was insane, 1.4 miles. And uh, what's really funny is this trail right here is uh, the trail to Feldspar, the floating logs, you know, on the backside of uh, Colden. And this trail, the last video saw was Skylight, Marcy, and Gray. Well, this was us breaking trail yesterday. Um, and if you remember, like I did a 19 mile day yesterday. <laughs> And so adding on this, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> so yeah, we have, um, oh dude, it's four miles to Marcy. Do you want to go to Marcy instead? 
Yeah. Yeah? Let's, yeah. Let's work quick. Okay, okay. But anyways, we have 2.6 miles to Marcy Dam, about another 1.2 back to our skis, and we're going to go and switch and get into our skis and ski right back to the car. We are back to the skis. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely wiped. Yeah? Well, I have to get up tomorrow and do another 20 mile day. I'm just kidding.